process performed in decontamination chambers and rooms constitutes a barrier to prevent indirect transmission of infectious agents to the herd. All supplies and equipment items must enter through the decontamination room to be exposed to chemical disinfection. Decontamination chambers are smaller and usually use ultraviolet or UV light to enter items that can't be soaked with disinfectant, but will stay in the office of the farm. They must be strategically located as they serve as access points between the exterior and interior of the farm. These areas must be made of smooth, washable materials that are easily disinfected and have doors that seal tightly. To maintain operator safety and process effectiveness, decontamination rooms must be clean and have the following components. 1. Protocol defining the steps for the decontamination process and a log form to record the date, time, and responsible party. 2. Acoustic or visual signals indicating that the system is in use. 3. Open shelves or grids to allow contact of the disinfectant with all the surfaces of the materials. 4. Signage indicating where objects should be placed with clear definition of clean and dirty areas. If cross traffic is possible, have a proper mitigation method in place. In countries with winter weather, heating is required to maintain a minimum of 21 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year. To receive heat-sensitive items, such as vaccines, it's important to have a refrigerator in the dirty area and only remove materials immediately prior to disinfection. Cell phones and fresh or processed pork products are prohibited and must not be brought into the farm. Food for staff should be entered through the double bag technique in absence of the UV light chamber. But what can or cannot enter the production unit? It must be assumed that all materials entering from outside are contaminated, and only items essential to the farm operation are authorized, such as pharmaceuticals, vaccines, office or maintenance or vet supplies, tools, etc. The entry must obey the following general recommendations. Items must not be placed on the floor of the dirty area. For items entered with the double bag technique, remove the outer bag and discard it in the dirty area. The method of applying disinfectant must include complete coverage of the items or UV light must radiate all surfaces of the item. If the decontamination method is disinfection, fogging or spraying, supplies must remain in contact with the disinfectant for a minimum of one hour. Decontamination from UV lights requires 10 minutes minimum UV contact time. Electronic items should be kept in a plastic container for a minimum period of seven days at room temperature, 21 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Fahrenheit, before unpacking and entering the farm. When the introduction is not immediate, store semen doses in the semen fridge in the dirty area. The cooler or external packaging sent from the GTC must remain in the dirty area. Semen doses must only enter through a double bag technique. The semen entry process must comply with the following steps. Take semen doses from the cooler with the outer bag. Open the outer bag. With disposable gloves, reach in and remove the inner bag with semen doses and place in the disinfection area. Discard the outer bag and gloves in the dirty area of the decontamination room. Thoroughly apply disinfectant to the surface area of the inner bag. Flip the bag and repeat fogging or spraying to assure full disinfectant coverage and allow at least 10 minutes of contact before introducing the inner bag and semen doses. In the clean area of the decontamination room, a trained operator must introduce the semen doses with the inner bag and place in the semen cooler in the clean area. Bulk items such as bagged feed or drying powder, especially items contained in paper bags or cardboard boxes, should be poured into clean containers that are always kept inside the farm. Plastic bags, or non-permeable, can be disinfected in the decontamination room. Do not enter any paper bags or cardboard boxes into the clean area of the farm. 
Before starting the disinfection process and handling disinfectants, it's necessary to use personal protection equipment. Please read the instructions carefully and follow all manufacturer recommendations for dilution rates and method of application. Biosecurity of the production unit is everyone's responsibility. Understanding, respecting, and rigorously executing these practices, actions, and procedures minimizes the risk of disease introduction and impact on animal health and welfare. Please follow these practices.